Today, I'd like to locate the stronghold. Welcome back to Exploration and Tactics with Brian. The sun is rising on a fresh day, and I'm at level 28. I did a little bit of animal breeding to get up to this level again, and I want to go ahead, I've just got a normal diamond pickaxe, I want to go ahead and just see if we could get lucky with a level 3 enchant. Efficiency 4 would be nice at level 30, and at level 28 I'll probably also be able to get efficiency 4. I'm breaking 3. Um, that wouldn't be bad either. Hmm. Let's give it a shot. Let's just go ahead and spend 28 levels and see. Ah, just done breaking three. Oh well. Um, but that'll be good for some long distance travel as we head to the stronghold. And so in order to find the stronghold, I'm going to need some Eyes of Ender. And fortunately it is the case that... I'm just going to put a few things away that we have blaze rods and blaze powder and we have tons of ender eyes and so i think i'll hold on to one blaze powder in case i need it for some more potions but i think we can grab those and i guess we can grab eight of these to make eight eyes of ender and so if i convert this to blaze powder and convert these guys and this will be a new item as well great got ender eyes we could also build a what do you call ender chest out of an ender eye but since i didn't get silk touch on this pick i'm not going to worry about that just yet but with the eyes of ender we ought to be able to try to locate the stronghold in 1.9 they changed the stronghold generation a couple of times and i think i generated this world somewhere in between and so hopefully it's not broken in terms of the eyes actually finding the strongholds that are in this world but i believe that where i'm standing right now oops what's the button i'm looking for f3 is zero zero? Yes, this is zero zero. And so I'm going to throw my first Eye of Ender from right here and just try to see what direction it goes to know where the nearest stronghold is to start. And okay, so it went this way. That is looking towards, where's like the degrees here? It looks like 159 degrees, negative 159 degrees, which is mostly north but slightly east is the direction that I need to go. It's possible, in theory, just by throwing two eyes of ender that you could use uh, some trigonometry and just trying to combine line segments in order to figure out where the stronghold is. Fortunately, this eye of ender did not break. I've tried that in practice. I find that it doesn't work very well, and so it's better to just kind of throw the pearls a number of times as you try to get places. I believe, oops. <laughs> I think I may just take fall damage in the water. I probably hit this and then like bounced into the water or something. I think it is the case that now in 1.9, the strongholds typically generate a little bit farther out. And so my plan is to walk about 1200 blocks in that direction before we throw another Eye of Ender, because I think it's usually going to be about 1200 blocks out. Let me make sure I've got all the inventory I need to take on a long distance journey and we'll head out. I've grabbed a bed. I feel like I'm probably forgetting something important, but I can't think of what. <laughs> and so rather than worry about it too much right now, I am just going to head to the northeast. And so basically I'm going to end up with a very negative Z and a slightly positive X. Whoa, let's not ride the horse into a pool of lava. <laughs> that would be a smart thing to do. And let's see, at an angle of like 160 degrees, I don't know, I'm not going to bother doing the math to get it exact. And actually it'll be better if I'm a little bit off. Actually, if I had 1200 blocks directly north, that actually could be a good thing, because then I could take a look at the direction that it's going, knowing that it's going to be somewhere to the east, and figure out where to go. Of course, one of the problems is there could be an ocean, and then taking the horse might not work out as well. It looks like there might be some extreme hills there that continue this way, so I'm going to try to ride the horse a reasonable distance. But if it turns out to be the case that there are large bodies of water, then I will I will ditch our horse and just take to a boat and see what I can do. But unless anything too interesting happens, look, more horses, hooray. 
Unless anything too interesting happens, uh, I will just see you once I get there. Interesting. <laughs> My horse, I dismounted because we jumped in a river, and now he's like permanently in the state of kicking his legs up. Oh, now he's not. All right. But I think for crossing a river, simply just pushing him across the river is an effective way. Okay, there's a jungle again. I don't remember if that's... That's probably the same jungle we saw before, because I think I headed this direction last time. I started out by going west, and then I circled around to the north. And so I think that's a jungle. Ooh! I think I see Megataiga up ahead. Are there things? Podzel is... Do you need Silk Touch in order to pick up Podzel? I can't remember. That's another block that I don't believe we have yet, though. So I want to head over into the Mega Taiga and just try digging with the shovel and see if we can pick up Podzel or not, because I just, I don't remember. And the answer is... No, we just got dirt. Okay, so we need Silk Touch. But basically, directly to the north, there is a Mega Taiga. And is there any other blocks or anything we can get here? Coarse Dirt, I think, is a block that... Can I just pick this up and it'd be Coarse Dirt? Yes! Okay, so Coarse Dirt, that is admittedly something I could have crafted myself. I believe you can use dirt and gravel to craft Coarse Dirt. But that's a block that's found naturally in this biome that we didn't have before. And Horse Travel is very quick. I'm already 900 blocks away from spawn. And I'm trying to get to about 1,200 blocks to the north of spawn. And yeah, since there hasn't been an ocean kind of directly to the north, I kind of just barely dodged one right at the beginning. Traveling with the horse has been surprisingly effective. So I'm glad to have him. And yeah, I guess we're just about where I want to be. Can I jump over? Right, this horse is not a particularly awesome jumper. But if there's a small obstacle in the way, he can usually leap over it <laughs> with a bit of effort. Come on, you can do it, horsey. Hooray. And yeah, we're already at 11.29, so if I can just find a clearing over here, I think we'll try throwing another pearl. A clearing and a mega taiga might be a little bit too much to ask for. I like having a clearing just so you can always see which direction the uh, Eye of Ender is actually going. I guess I could do it up here. Let's do that, perhaps. Let me hop off the horse, dig a little place that the horse can stand in and won't run away. Great. Okay, you stay right there. Sun is about to go down, but I think up on this little overhang, if I throw the Eye of Ender up into the sky, I'll be able to see exactly where it goes. I have picked up a sapling that I don't really need right now. I can't remember with ferns. I don't think I've harvested, like, ferns and dead bushes yet with shears. And so while I'm thinking of it, I have plenty of iron, and so I don't mind making an extra pair of shears. Oh, apparently I did get a fern already. That's right. There was a very near home. There was some ferns growing. I think it's just the dead bush maybe that I need to pick up. In any case, I'm going to sleep away this night. And then in the morning, we'll try throwing the next Eye of Ender. And currently I am... Yeah, my X is still negative 8, so I've hardly changed X. I went almost directly north from my spawn point from the nether portal that I built at 0, 0. And so my expectation is that the stronghold is going to be somewhere in this direction to the east. But I'm not sure if it's going to be kind of farther north or right around here or right around this way. But hopefully we'll get a lot of information once we throw this next pearl. Or, excuse me, once we throw this next Eye of Ender. But let's go ahead and sleep away the night. Pick up the bed again, so we can continue to take it with us. I'm just using it to reset the daytime. And... Uh, rises in the east, right. So I think it's going to be somewhere over here. Oh, wow! It's back this way. Okay. That's really interesting. So if it's back this way, we've overshot, we've gone too far to the north, and... Wow, that was probably like 20 degrees. It might be just be like 600 blocks. And I'm guessing the north might be only like minus 700z. Might have gone way too far. Okay, in any case, I believe... Ooh, I believe the Eye of Ender, yeah, dropped back up on the ground, and so I can pick it back up. I'll go grab the horse... And I think I'm going to go to 
coordinates of like minus 700 and then like 150 in the x or something i think will be about right i'll meet you guys over there all right the coordinates aren't exactly where i wanted to be negative 750 in the z and 168 in the x but i see a flower forest with lots of tulips and i would like to pick them and also i've just come out of a birch forest back into some open plains and so this would be a good place to throw another eye of ender to see where it's going and because i plan to go over to the flower forest and pick some tulips as well let's go ahead and get the horse somewhere he's not going to run away for a while maybe go back down there you go all right good and let's go ahead and try throwing this first okay it is still headed in this direction yeah, so I think still a little bit less in the Z and a little bit more in the X. I hadn't traveled as far as I wanted. I think that Eye of Ender, yes, did drop. Yeah, I managed to pick it back up. So we've got that again. So I know which direction I still need to go. I'm going to leave the horse here for a moment, and we will take a little diversionary side quest to the flower forest. I think there's four colors of tulips. There's white and red and orange and... I think I already had rose bushes and poppies. All right, but <laughs> red flower. Red flower. So yeah, the Minecraft item IDs for all the tulips and a lot of the flowers is like the same ID with different damage values. And unfortunately, in this version, interesting. I think I just picked up a red tulip, but didn't get another notification about it. Um, let's pick up a few of these, just because I like them and might want to use them for decoration as well. Maybe I'd manage to pick up a red tulip before. Ooh, I think I see an allium over here. Is that what that is? Yes. So yeah, in a more recent version, a more recent update uh, to what I've been doing with the command blocks for this kind of getting all the items and recognizing them on the scoreboard and item display thing. I'm trying to print out kind of prettier names for... Uh, oh, okay, pink. That was the other color. Great. For the various flowers that you can find in Minecraft. And I know I already have some peonies and the two tall flowers we can always breed. I think you just put bone meal on them and you can reproduce them basically. Just in case, I'm pretty sure I have a rose bush at home, but we'll grab a couple of them as well. Actually, we won't grab a couple of them because my inventory is going to fill up. Uh, I don't need seeds right now. All right, so that'll work. Great, so we managed to pick up more flowers. I'm pretty sure those are all the colors of tulips. And in here in the flower forest, are there any other types of flowers that I haven't seen before? I think perhaps we've gotten them all now. Next time I'm back at home, we'll have to take a look and see if there's any other types of flowers we need to gather. And where is the sun at this point? It's still high in the sky. So I'm going to hop back on the horse, travel a little bit farther this way, but I think we're probably getting pretty close to where the Eye of Ender is trying to take us, which hopefully will be to the Stronghold. I expect I may have overshot. I came from this direction, but there was a nice clearing out here with some friends for the horse, and so I thought this would be a good place to go ahead and try throwing once more. And yes, I have overshot, it's back this way, and I didn't travel all that far, so I have confidence that this thing will dive down into the ground shortly over here. And so let's head back over in this direction. I think in a moment we might actually be able to see where I just came from too, because the flower forest was just up on this hill, and so I think it's probably like right around here actually. Let's just try throwing it. Can you throw it from on horseback? Let's find out. Yes, and now it's going this way. So let's try once more, even though I'm inside the forest. Did it go back this way or did it go underground? I don't see it wherever it went. I'm willing to lose one, but I think we're close. And so I think this could be a good place to dig. Uh, I'm going to bring the horse out into a clearing just to make him easier to find for me. We'll put down a torch here. And we'll dig a little hole for the horse. <laughs> dig a little hole for the horse. That sounds awful. Um, but that's somewhere that he won't run away. Uh, there's a torch, so we'll be able to see him. The sun's about to go down, so I'm going to sleep away one more night. 
And I think I'll also put down a chest with all the different flowers and things that I want to put back. But then I will start digging downwards and see if we can locate a stronghold underground over here. I started digging a spiral staircase under the forest and happened to find my way into a cave over here. And so I think let's just do a little bit of spelunking and see if possibly this will lead into a cave that's going to lead into a stronghold. I cleared out this entire cave system. It wasn't too big. I switched to my iron sword so I could preserve, preserve my looting sword. But basically, since that didn't seem to prove fruitful, I'm just going to continue digging downwards my spiral staircase and see if we get deeper if we might find a stronghold. Haha! -ha! <laughs> it works! <laughs> Look at this. We're about to get some new bricks. All right, stone brick. I don't hear any silverfish yet, but there's like cracked stone bricks. There's normal stone bricks. So many stone bricks. All right, there's a staircase over here. I'm going to just kind of close that off for the moment. And I expect the ender pearl usually leads you right to the room with the silverfish spawner. And so I expect it might be nearby. There's a chest. All right, I've forgotten how large and maze-like these places can be. Interesting. Okay, iron pickaxe, bread, and redstone. I think perhaps I knew that they had changed the loot tables for these particular chests. But uh, I hadn't really thought about it and its implications for survival gameplay very much until just now. And I've forgotten about the fact I've got this awesome bow. I've never once used it. And so if we get into any trouble with any monsters, I should definitely try out this awesome bow that we managed to enchant in the previous episode. And let's see. Do I have any kind of rhyme or reason to how I want to try to investigate this whole place? It's very easy to get lost. Let's try to do higher before lower. And so I see a staircase that's kind of spiraling upwards here. I see, but of course it doesn't actually go anywhere. Very weird generation of these places. All right, I'm just going to wander around. And, ooh, do iron doors... I think they have a different, yeah, they have a different sound. It's a little bit more clinkety, I would describe it, as it, than it used to be, which is pretty cool. I've forgotten about the fact that there's still a number of new sounds in the game that I've never heard, just because I don't encounter them all that often. Things like iron doors. All right. Hello, skeleton. Nah, not doing a very good job of blocking with my shield there. And let's see, this appears to just lead back out into a cave system outside the stronghold. Although this is leading back inside the stronghold. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, is this coming back up to, yeah, one place that I've already been. Okay, so that's a nice little circle around. It's going to be very easy to get lost. I will wander around, and when I find something interesting, I'll bring you guys back. Aha! Here's something interesting. Alright, there are many, many strongholds in the world now. And so I think I'm going to break this silverfish spawner as much as I like silverfish spawners. Uh, just because there are 127 other strongholds, apparently, that I ought to be able to find in this world. And so if we want to do fun science and experiments and mob farming and crazy stuff related to silverfish, we can use one of the other strongholds for it. We already have three of the Eyes of Ender in this particular portal thingy, just to free up some slots in my inventory. I guess I'll go ahead and place the other ones I have here, meaning we only need two more in order to unlock a gateway to the end, or I guess a portal to the end. The end gateway is a new type of block in 1.9. That's kind of a different teleporter you encounter inside the end. There's still more of the stronghold to explore, and so I do plan to explore it. However, it just occurred to me, something I should do, even though I know roughly where this place is on the map, let's bring up F3 so that I have the coordinates of 269 and minus 666, and I'm going to take a screenshot just so that I can't lose track. And so if I need to get back here later, I know exactly where it is, but I'll continue to explore the stronghold. 
Is this a mine shaft cutting through the stronghold, or is there something different with stronghold generation over here? I don't recall having seen this before. I'll check it out in just a moment. I guess we're kind of closed off in here. I can come back to what's behind these iron doors in a bit. I just can't tell if this is like a mine shaft that just happens to be intersecting it. It still seems like we got more stronghold bricks in here. Oh, it is a mine shaft. Interesting. Okay, so a mine shaft intersects the stronghold. Oh, a mine shaft intersects the stronghold. This is the first mine shaft that we found in this world. Which means, let's see, what can I find in mine shafts? They might have a number of minecart chests, uh, which could easily have some loot that we haven't found yet that one finds in dungeons and minecarts. Wow, there's a ravine cross-cutting the stronghold over here as well. All right, we've actually got some relatively interesting cave terrain running through this whole area. <laughs> Not to mention this whole area is just normal crazy generation. Oh, stone stairs. All right, there's a block. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so this room, I guess it got intersected by a mine shaft. But I think there's a chest up here. Sounds like there's a zombie up there as well. Just want to make sure there's no other monsters who are going to surprise me before I head up here. Hi, zombies. Oh, you're not here. Okay, this did not get intersected by the mine shaft. Just had a lower ceiling that I remember. What do you find in here? Apples, gold, and iron. All right, I'm happy to have all of those things. Uh, crack stone bricks. I'm pretty sure I can craft all those things, and now that I've had them in my inventory, they're not all that interesting. And the zombies, I suppose, are perhaps somewhere right through here. Oh, hello. Found you. <laughs> All right, so we'll kill those guys, and oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, that was a sneaky creeper. That one definitely made me jump. Um, but we're okay. <laughs> we got some good iron armor. I did manage to stand a little distance away from the creeper and block. Uh, I see. This is where I came in. Gotcha, because that's the cobblestone I placed. Okay. All right, so we've circled around over here, and. Yeah, I really want to go explore the mine shaft, but I would like to try to light up the rest of the stronghold too. I don't know. This will probably take a while. All right. Do I feel like I have lit up the entire stronghold? No, but I do feel like I've lit up enough of it that, well, looks like there's more of it over here that I'm happy to go exploring through some of the mine shaft in the hopes of finding some interesting mine shaft stuff. But it seems like, oh, all right. Speaking of interesting Minecraft, bleh. Mine shaft stuff. It sounds like we probably have a cave spider spawner over here. That's going to be a silverfish block. And this sword is probably not powerful enough. These guys are really hard to hit, too. All right, fortunately, he didn't wake up any of his friends. Let's go ahead and top off our food. And I expect we're going to run into some cave spiders and get poisoned over here. I'm just going to break the cave spider spawner if and when I find it. Seems like it's probably right over here. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, if I break this, I can totally get to this. There we go. Cave spider spawner down. All right, we spawned a few cave spiders. They'll probably poison me, just like that. But I've got good food, so I'm not too worried about that. So I'll just try to kill off the two or three other cave spiders that we have spawned. And continue to explore through here. Hello, cave spider. Oh, right. I've got a bow. Hello. Um, I don't have any arrows. I need at least one arrow in my inventory in order to use my infinity bow. <laughs> I hear a skeleton somewhere, so let me see if I can go kill him and possibly get an arrow. And then I can start using this bow. Oh, I'm such a, I'm such a dummy. I've never been great with the bow, but that is especially embarrassing be running around with an awesome infinity bow and zero arrows. All right, where do I hear that skeleton? I think he was maybe over this way. Yeah, I think he's somewhere over here. All right, kind of worried. Yeah, I thought I saw a creeper over here. I just tried to switch to the bow again. It's not going to be useful, Brian. Ah, oh, and he just woke up a silverfish, right. That's potentially dangerous. 
Any more silverfish right around here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, hello. Ouch. All right, I found the skeleton. Please drop an arrow. Oh no, another silverfish. Oh, and another silverfish. This actually could go really badly for me. Let's eat some food. Um, and let's try to crit. I should use my axe, because that'll do more damage against the silverfish. And it won't have the swing attack that accidentally hits other nearby silverfish. Silverfish are potentially a devastating threat in 1.9. Uh, if you get overrun by them, I find. All right, I still need to eat some food. Skeleton strafed around the corner. I saw one of the silverfish go in a block. So he shouldn't be a threat anymore. And skeleton dropped a bone, but not an arrow. Darn it. Okay, so I still want to find another skeleton to try to get an arrow. Or can I craft? No, I don't have any feathers to craft an arrow. Okay, but I think the th silverfish threat... I think I saw a silverfish possibly go into this block or this block. Some block right over here I thought I saw him go into out of the corner of my eye while I was fighting the skeleton. All right, I'm going to continue to explore the mine shaft and, yeah, see if I can get my hands on an arrow. Oh, crap. I hear you. There you are. Did you spawn earlier or is there another cave spider spawner down this hallway? Uh, either of those are possibilities. Ouch. Uh, let's eat some more food once again. And let's quickly run down this hallway together. Yes, there is another cave spider spawner. Okay. Going through my iron sword pretty quickly here. Uh, let's light this up. Let's break the spawner. Light is really good whenever you're fighting any type of spiders. Because at a certain light level, spiders become passive. And so it often means that you can kind of trick the spiders into not attacking you. Although once you attack them, then they'll come after you for an amount of time. And I had shears, but I left them back upstairs. I could always craft another iron sword if I need to. And I've got the looting sword. I just didn't want to kind of waste the looting sword. Cutting through webs and fighting a whole bunch of bad guys in this area. Oh, I found this uh, waterfall kind of room in the stronghold that seems to be kind of connected into a weird cave that's right next to the mine shaft. And okay, now I'm just back out in the cave system kind of interested in seeing if the stronghold has a library, for example. All right, we got more mine shaft over here. Possibly another cave spider spawner around here somewhere based on the webs. Eh, maybe not. Haha! -ha! Skeleton dropped an arrow. Great. I would love to pick up said arrow. And I will even... Just go ahead and repair these swords together. I did make another sword earlier, just so I can pick up the arrow. And now... Da -da 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 I can use my infinity bow. Alright, I've gotten back out of the mine shaft once again. And so let's try to get back into it and see if there's more to explore. Hello, zombie! Taste the infinity bow! <laughs> Wow! That basically oh yep yeah, yep yeah, basically one shot him because the flame ended up finishing him off. I wonder if the same will happen for the creeper. Nope, not quite enough. Um, but still a very good bow. And I hear more zombies. Actually, I hear a bunch more zombies. I wonder if possibly there could be a dungeon somewhere. That might be expecting too much, just because I happen to hear a few zombies. I'm just excited. This area is very interesting in terms of the terrain generation of three different kind of feature sets. Oh boy! Hello! <laughs> uh, all generating, all nice and close together. We have... well, kind of four, actually. We had a stronghold, we have a ravine, we had a mine shaft. And just a set of cave systems that are all making this area, I don't know, super crazy town. <laughs> super crazy town! That's now the official description of overlapping terrain. 
All right, I did a little bit more exploring, but I dug myself back up to the surface, and after I got my bearings, managed to find my horse once again. I'm going to manage some inventory, probably sweep away one more night. We will head home, but we have made progress. We have located the nearest stronghold to our home spawn point, and we only have two more eyes vendor in order to unlock a portal to the end, and so... I have to think about what kind of gear I want to take to try to fight the Ender Dragon. I, for those of you who don't know, I have never fought the Ender Dragon and defeated him without dying. Usually multiple times. I've only fought the Ender Dragon a small, maybe like six times or something in my life. So I don't have a lot of experience with him, and I know the dragon fight has changed. And so I have to decide if I want to go in guns a-blazing, or if I want to go in kind of planning to die with some lighter gear and just plan to make some progress the first time around, and then try to come back and defeat the Ender Dragon the second time around. I'll have to think that over. In any case, let me see what all gear I can manage to bring back home. Aha! On the way back home, it looks like there's another desert here. And I think I never managed to get, oops, the small shrub. And so let's see if I managed to pick this up. Dead bush. Apparently I did already pick that up. Because that is not registering as a new item. Oh well. While I am in the desert, however, I do think that sandstone slabs are something that I never actually used in my inventory. There we go. And so now the sandstone slabs will have been registered. Sunflowers. It looks like there must be, yeah, a tiny bit of sunflower planes here. I don't think I've ever gotten sunflowers before. Indeed, that's a new item. So that is cool. And I'm already back home. In the past, I was not all that fond of horses. I think I am growing more fond of them. It seems like they have changed how they work uh, and improved the usability of the horses a fair bit. And I like them more. I remember originally, like, you'd suffocate in the leaves of trees when you rode through a forest. And they fixed that. They made it so they don't jump, and so it's kind of easy to pen them in and something like that. They ride a bit smoother now than they used to. And they're still kind of awkward to push across a river. But overall, I'm pretty happy to have that guy. Came in very useful. We found a bunch of new plants along the way in kind of our little side quest. But most importantly, we managed to find the stronghold. And only need a couple more eyes of ender, which I already have the materials to craft because I still have more ender pearls and I still have another blaze rod, don't I? thought I saved one of the blaze rods. Maybe I didn't. I saved one blaze powder. So I guess we will need to go back to the nether then and kill some more blazes. Well, that'll be easy to do. And with the looting sword, we should be able to get plenty of blaze rods. Um, yeah, I spent a bit of time already on this episode. I'm not sure after editing how long it's going to be. So let me go check. Yeah, I definitely have enough content already for today's episode, so we will finish things up. There is a... you'll notice that there's two dead bushes on the wall. That was one of the mistakes I made in this alpha version of this thing. And so we've already managed to get the dead bush that is obtainable. Spider webs. I forgot while I was inside the mine shaft that you could just use shears on spider webs in order to obtain spider webs now. You don't need silk touch. But there are a number of things that I could make with redstone and quartz. And so I think perhaps at the next episode I'm going to spend a little bit of time trying to craft the things that I already know that I can craft and spending a little bit of time just kind of like looking at the walls and making all the things I can get right now to then start kind of partitioning the rest of the things that I still need to get into, you know, items that you can only get in the end and music discs where I have to get skeletons to shoot creepers and kind of different categories of big items that I need to go after in future episodes. But for now, I will say that I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon with more Minecraft exploration and tactics. Bye-bye.